Nvidia announced the RTX 3050 on 4 January, giving gamers another hope, so that they can finally have a decent gaming GPU in their gaming builds. As per Nvidia's claim, it is almost twice as powerful as the GTX 1650, so you can expect a smooth gaming experience at 1080p resolution with high to ultra settings. The company this time, however, is also making some claims that we need to check. According to several reports from different outlets, NVIDIA is going to produce the RTX 3050 in large quantities. According to video cards, it was board channels which was first to report this news, and was followed by IT Home that also reported a similar thing. IT Home says that NVIDIA is going to strengthen the distribution of first batch of RTX 3050, and will make its supply better than the RTX 3060 and 3060 Ti. Well, we all know what happened to the RTX 3060 as well as other RTX 30 series graphics cards when they were launched, but according to Nvidia, they shouldn't go like this with the RTX 3050's launch. Moreover, in a recent interview published on Seeking Alpha, the company has made some bold claims. Nvidia says that they have seen a strong demand for the GeForce graphics cards throughout 2021 and it will grow even stronger. Nvidia is claiming that they are working with the supply chain partners to increase the availability and they are confident about the graphics card supply as we move into the second half of this year. This is the same statement about which we heard rumors several times from different outlets before. As Nvidia is switching back to TSMC for its ADL Lovelace graphics cards, it is expected that Nvidia is going to maintain the supply better than before. Now as we still have 5 months more before entering the second half, we need to see if the recent changes by Nvidia will work now or will Nvidia still fail to deliver the promise. The RTX 3050 is going to launch on 27 January worldwide according to its official blog post. The suggested price is a minimum of 249 US dollars, which means the factory overclocked and higher end models will go up to 300 dollars. But the surprising thing is that the RTX 3050 has already entered the market for sale two weeks before its official launch. As reported by WCF Tech, a custom RTX 3050 was already listed online for sale. This was first noticed by Momomo underscore US, which he posted about on Twitter. This card was listed on Amazon Japan, but right now the product page is not available. It is said that it was a Galakuro Gaming RTX 3050 8GB graphics card that was listed for 50,138 yuan that converts to 440 US dollars. That is 190 US dollars more than the suggested price by Nvidia. Sad thing is that this wasn't even a premium edition and featured a simple heatsink cooled by a single fan. So you can easily imagine how much the premium editions will cost. While the prices in US is lower than the other parts of the world, going by the current trend of GPUs, I still think the card is going to cost easily above 400 US dollars. Now when the report said that Nvidia is going to increase the supply for RTX 3050, i2Home says that Nvidia was talking about the first batch. However, Videocard says that it doesn't explicitly tell us about whether it refers to the current supply or the supply for the launch date. Now personally, I do not think you will be able to secure an RTX 3050 for yourself just like the previous RTX 30 series graphics cards and you will still need to wait for the second half because that's the time when a lot of factors will come together to make the supply even better and you can expect lower prices than now. In the first quarter itself, Intel is also going to launch its R graphics cards and with this third giant's entrance into the market, AMD and Nvidia will be forced to reduce the prices because what I have observed myself in a giant market like Nehru Place, there is no actual shortage and most of the retail shops are able to deliver dozens of graphics cards to each user. So companies and retail shops know it very well that they can have the extra profit and therefore don't feel it necessary to reduce the price. Now as the launch date of RTX 3050 is approaching, let's see how many seconds Nvidia can maintain their stock after it launches the GPU. Till then make sure you subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any updates and I will see you next time.